So just had an incredibly rude lady ringing me up saying if I don't get here quickly, her husband's shoveling a snake. If her husband shovels this snake, I'm gonna grab the shovel and hit him with it. I can guarantee it's not even gonna be a dangerous snake at this time of day. It's gonna be a tree snake or a keelback, most likely a tree snake feeding on a frog goblet. But far out, mate. Just got that feeling something bad's happening here. How you going? How are you? Is he still there? Yeah, I highly doubt it's anything dangerous at this time of day. Could be, but... Yeah, mate, that's harmless. That's a keelback. No need to try and be shoveling this thing. Or even if it was dangerous, no need to be shoveling stuff, because if it was a brown snake, trying to hurt it's the best way to get yourself bitten by it. It doesn't matter if it's not your place, like what I'm saying is no, if you ever try and hurt a snake, the snake will defend itself. Yeah. So that's the best way to get bitten, you know what I mean? 50% of fatal snake bites are because someone was antagonizing the animal. Yeah. But this particular snake is actually harmless. It's non-venomous, it's a keelback, mm -hmm. and it can actually eat cane toads. Yeah. So they're doing us all a favor by being around. They're a wetland species. So I know that's a snake and it's a bit brown in color, but look, I can just, I can hold this guy with my hands. He's not even gonna try and bite because I'm not squeezing or doing anything nasty to it. If I started whacking him right now, of course he's gonna bite me because I'm giving him a reason to, you know, but I'm being gentle, so he's just being cool with me as well. But yeah, it's a keelback. Very good. Keelback, so yeah, not, not dangerous. Not and definitely, definitely because they can eat the toads, they. Do us all a do us all a favour around here and our other wildlife too. But um, if you ever see a snake, yeah, never try and hurt it. That's just, why we're ringing, yeah. That's just why. yeah, exactly. Just give us a ring. It's what we're here for. Because um, trust me, mate. Like even I did. I've been doing this for years. I got caught hundreds of snakes, and every now and then I'll get one that gives me a run for my money. And I just you know what I mean. And I I do this every day. Ended up chucking it in this tub. Once it worked out as a keel back, I don't want it to take off yet because I want to show you guys something really cool that I noticed. Well, I noticed a few things. One, if you look at its tail, it's been smashed by a cat at some point. This has got cuts all over its tail. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, there is a, a very brown keel back, orange as well, on the flanks there. But you can see this, these wounds. It's definitely been done by a cat at some point which is unfortunate but they do look healed up hopefully i mean there's no it's not fresh wounds or anything so i don't think don't think old mate did it i don't think he actually whacked the snake i think he just wanted to um but yeah it's a nice brown one but what i noticed is this one just like this morning's one is gravid so i'm being very gentle to touch it but if you look under her belly I hold her up there, you can see the lumps. So, congratulations, darling. You're gonna be a mum. So, we found a nice little spot for you down here for you and your bubs. Okay, I don't know if you wanna go into the water right now, but you might after all of that. So, two gravid keelbacks in one day. And drink because we don't see that all that often do we it's still giving us awesome shots it's sitting in this water oh it's having another drink there you go it's doing it again for us actually drinking moving its throat as it swallows the water and it's very much at home in the water here aren't you Hey, it's a beautiful snake. And I wish you very well. Look how it displaces the water and floats. You can actually see the pressure of the water, the lumps, so it's like a meniscus around the snake. That's fantastic. And off it goes. What a beautiful animal, hey? The guy was going to shovel this thing. <laughs> and 
Off he goes. Not going to keep pursuing him, he's had a rough day obviously. I'll let him do his thing. See you buddy. <laughs>